back from another video and I just want to say before I get started please do excuse the way I sound and I look like a mess and I'm only wearing like a singlet today because I'm so hot um, I have the flu I'm coming to the tail end of it now so I'm not 100% better but I still feel like crap um, so yeah so let's just get started um, so I have a thing for soft toys like plush toys or um, like Beanie Babies if you will um, so I have a whole collection of toys uh, one day I might show you um, they're not all set up yet uh, some of them are still packed away from when I moved last year but I went in there and I found this little guy now I did not find a tag on him anywhere to say what brand he is but I honestly didn't care he was like the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my life it is this cute little woolly mammoth. He's got his big tusks oh, and he's all like fluffy and oh my god he's so cute. Um, and like I said I don't know what brand he is but I just fell in love with him. He does have the beads in his, in, in his body um, so he is one of those like Beanie Baby style uh, toys. But he is actually going to go into my personal collection. I am going to wash him because he does feel a little bit dirty. I'm using really, really good condition. Now this actually had two prices on it. One on the belly for $2 and then one on the towel for $1. So I'm going to assume either one of the tags got stuck on there by mistake from like another toy or whatever. But the guy at the, the store gave it to me for $1. So how cute is he? Okay. Moving on, I found this guy. It still had its tag on, and these are the um, the brand Me to You, um, and this is Taddy Teddy, and Taddy Teddy is so expensive to buy brand new. Um, so basically, uh, this one is a small one. It just says "You're my one and only," which I think is super cute. It's in super great condition. There is like literally nothing wrong with this one. It's got its tag still attached, which I think is awesome. Um, I'm just trying to see if it has like any. No, it doesn't. It just has like these. It's got his like cute little gray bear, and he's got his little um, patch on the side there because his name is Taddy Teddy. It has its little tag on there. I only paid two dollars for this. Uh, the next toy I got is another Taddy Teddy, and oh my god, he is so cute! Seriously, seriously, want to keep him, but I bought him to resell. Uh, but I honestly, yeah, I I did specifically buy him to resell, but you know what? <laughs> he is so adorable. I may keep him. I don't know yet. Uh, but he's super cute. He's got a little red bow around his neck. He's got his little uh, patches, like his tatty teddy patches. There's one there on his head, one on his bob, um, and his little uh, feet have the little uh, things too. And I forgot to show you the other one, but on the paw it does say "Me to You." So and he also came with. His tags still attached. Um, this one says, um, "Handmade with love, me to you." Um, it's got like a little holographic, genuine me to you product, um, holographic, and it's Carte Block. Oh, I don't know. And then it just says, "To and from," so you can write "To and from" on there. Uh, but I'll show you what it looks like. This is a little. A little holographic there and then on the other side if I can get to it on the other side you could write um, to and from but I only paid two dollars for him and I know these sell so like these are so dear that this particular brand um, I the last toy I got I am actually so excited for um, she's mostly complete she's just missing one thing but it is this it's a Monster High doll. I rarely, rarely see Monster High dolls in the thrift stores because here in Australia, people don't donate this stuff. They sell it on eBay. 
Now, I said that she was missing a piece. I lie. It was actually stuck up underneath her dress. So, that's actually her fin off of her, uh, the back of her leg. So, I'll put that back on um, quickly. Okay, let's see. There we go. Um, and I'll put her little knee pads back on. Okay, so... Her hair is a mess, so her hair is going to need to be fixed. But this is what she looks like. This is a Laguna. Um, she's so cute. This is from the um, Sculptimate Roller Maze series. She does have her cute little dress on, which is like one sleeve and then like a spaghetti strap. Um, she's got her little knee pads on that have little skullettes on them with helmets. And then her cute little roller blades, which actually have fins on the back. Um, and she's got her helmet on as well. She's actually really complete. There's really, like, there's nothing wrong with this doll. I paid $4 for her, which is such a good deal for a Monster High doll in Australia. Even second hand, these things sell like friggin' crazy. Like, Okay, so moving on, I have some books to show you. Um, okay, so I got this book. Now, I'll be honest with you, I can't remember if I showed this book to you guys or not in my last thrift haul, but I'm showing it now, so if I did show it in my last haul, I apologise. Um, I just couldn't remember. I'm sick, so I get a pre pass. Um, I just, I can't remember anything. This is The Looking Glass Wars Seeing Red by Frank Better. So this is a Alice in Wonderland retelling from what I can gather. I love anything to do with Alice in Wonderland. I'm just obsessed with Alice in Wonderland. And I do have the first book of this, uh, like in this series. I honestly didn't even know that this was a series. I just knew that the first, like I'd see the first book and I really wanted to read it so when I saw this and I realized what it was I kind of almost screamed in the store and I grabbed it I only paid three dollars for it it honestly doesn't even look like this book was ever read the spine's still all intact there's no like meds or anything but yeah I'm just super super happy to have this book um I'm just trying to think of where to put everything <laughs> okay so <laughs> Moving on, the next books I have are actually, the next three books I have are kids books. Um, these I bought specifically to resell. I've never seen these books before but I saw them on the shelf in the kids book section and I fell in love with these. They're the Silver Tales books uh, by a company called Hinkler and they are just super cute. They're kind of like the little golden books but just the silver with the silver spine and everything <coughs> excuse me um this one's i'll show you blue kangaroo by emma she to chester clark i don't know if i pronounced that right but this is what it looks like it is so cute it comes with like the little page marker ribbon it's a hard cover as well um these are super cute like the inside of the cover there and the illustrations are just beautiful. I only paid a dollar for this book. Um, I have another one from the Silver Tales one. This is Rufus and the Blackberry Monster by Lisa Stubbs. And this is what it looks like. Um, again, super cute. They all have these little ribbon page markers. Um, and I just want to show you some of the illustrations of these because these are so beautiful. Uh, so that one was a dollar as well and then I got this one which is the Silver Tales one and this is Can't Catch Me by Michael Foreman. It just looks like this. Now this one does have a slight bend in the cover here and also on the back just here but I don't think that'll hinder it at all. Um, so I'll show you the illustration did here as well. They're just, they're, they're stunning. They really are. And I paid a dollar for that one as well. So I am actually going to resell these. 
The cop listings on eBay are actually pretty decent. These sell anywhere from about $5 on their own to more in lots. Um, so I have three there. So if I make six or more dollars off these, it would be, you know, it would be a great profit. The next book I have here is the fashion book. It is by a company called Buster Books. And this looks to be brand new. It's never been used and it is actually it is actually a activity book so it's got advice activities and top tips to create your own collection so it looks like this and then if you open up you'll find stuff in there about fashion uh, like all the cool things um, you have things where you can draw your own fashion now this is a $30 book. I paid $3 for this. Um, so I think I can get a good amount for it. And then the last book I have is a big one. This is the Kate Spade New York Things We Love Coffee Table book. It is huge. It is a hardcover. It's got gold edging on it, which I love. It has a pink hardcover underneath the dust jacket. I'm not going to take it off though. I just don't have the energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that's that. The inside of the book is just beautiful. I'll find something like a really pretty page. Um. And this is also a really expensive book to buy um, like for instance here we go like this how beautiful is this I like I just I love Kate Spade I am selling this book this book is a $50 book um, brand new and this book here looks to be brand new as well it does have a slight ding in the um, spine underneath the dust jacket but it's not damaged, it's just a slight, like a, like it's been bumped into something. Um, so I only paid, I paid $6 for this, which is more than what I would normally pay for a book, but because of the quality and what it is, I thought I'd give it a chance. These do sell on eBay for about $45. So I thought, what the hell, I'll give it a go. Okay. The next two things I have are actually the same. I saw them there and I had to get them. So I've got them sitting in front of me. They are heavy, but they are these. And I've got two of them, one sitting in front of me still. These are the Johnny Walker Blue Label Blended Scotch Whiskey, a uh, blend of our rarest whiskies. Um, obviously, the bottles are empty, but the bottles and the case are beautiful. Um, it says, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, Scotch Whiskey Distilleries, John Walker and Sons Limited, London. Um, it was originally a litre bottle, um, which is 40% 40 40 alcohol, and it just opens up like so. It's got a magnetic closure. And then that is the bottle right there. I'll just, I'll take it out, the bottle here. Um, it's so beautiful. It's a really light blue bottle, as you can see. Um, so it just has the Johnny Walker blue label um, on the like front bottle. And then down the bottom, it just says because these were limited edition um, it was bottle number I think it's IF1 53917 um, so it has on the label there like the number and I just thought these were really really nice and it does have the cap like it's a cork I'm just trying to see if I can spell I don't know why I tried to spell because I can't spell anything by Rose is bluff, but um, you can tell it had alcohol in there though because you can see the tiniest little amount in there. Uh, but I obviously did not buy it for that. 
but I just thought these were amazing and I saw two of them and I grabbed both of them. I honestly thought they were going to be really expensive because I couldn't see the price until I opened the box. Five dollars each. <coughs> so I actually got these for my fiance. Now I have two things left for you guys and they are handbags. So I got this hair bag, which I just, oh my god, fell in love with. This is the hair bag here. Oh. This is what it looks like. Now this is a beautiful hair bag. Now I got this hair bag like two, three weeks ago. Uh, the people that work there generally are pretty good at pricing their stuff. They know their stuff. Um, so they do price accordingly. So normally their leather goods and brand name stuff is priced a lot higher than what americans prices would be they price their stuff high so when i picked up this bag i knew before i picked it up it was leather and i was like i just knew um that i wanted it um so that's really all i know and i know that these are hard to find like this brand because obviously this company does not make these anymore so i was so happy that I got this bag, I will never part with this. I was so happy with that. So that was that bag. Now onto the very last bag. Um, now I recently discovered a new American YouTuber. I think she's American. Yeah, American uh, YouTuber. Uh, I think, I can't remember her name. I think it's, her YouTube name is Miss Shops A Lot. Um, I'll link it in the down bar anyway. Her channel is amazing. She it's like a thrifty queen. Um, seriously, amazing. The stuff she finds and the deals that she gets it for. Oh my god. I seriously would love going thrifting with her any day. Now, she pointed out a few tips on how to spot fake bags. Uh, because obviously, people donate fake bags all the time to charity stores, which they do here in Australia as well. But what I did find and I did get is this. I'm so excited! It is Guess! Now, we in Australia will find more Guess than we do any other brand donated to a thrift store because in Australia, people do not donate brand name stuff to thrift stores. I mean, you do get some people that do, but most people are going to resell that shit and get their money back. They're not going to be donating any of it. So, to find a Guess handbag here in Australia in a thrift store is amazing. They're expensive to buy brand new. Um, I used to work for a handbag store. I guess would sell some of these bags for like $300. Um, and guess to me is not like a huge, huge brand. But it is amazing. Um, so I found this beautiful bag. I know it is an older season. Like an older style. I just can't remember what style it was. Because I used to, when I worked in the handbag store, we sold guess. So... Uh, but it is in a beautiful condition. It is slightly dirty, but um, I will clean that. That's no problem. Now, one of the tips that she, uh, Miss Shopsola, gave was to check the zippers. And what I mean by that is this. Okay, this is probably going to be hard to show. But the zipper here, like the actual zipper pull, the metal part here, like this part, if it's a brand name product, not all brands, but most brands use a particular type of zipper. Now, on here, you I won't be able to show you this because it is too small to get to focus on the camera. But on the zipper, like the metal part, somewhere on there will be written YKK. That is a dead ringer. Not all brands, but most brands will have YKK zippers. Now, if it doesn't have it, it's most likely not real. Not all the time, but most of the time. Now, if you're looking at, say, like a Chanel or something, a Chanel bag will have a Lampo zipper. So, it'll say L-A-M-P-O on it. So, a Lampo zipper. So, that's actually been a really great help for me because these are genuine. So, this has a magnetic closure um, at the front there. So, that there. And once it opens, it has three zipper sections one two and three 
Now I will open those up for you. On the inside here, it has the, um, what do you call it, leopard print pockets, which is such a, uh, that's a guess thing that is. Um, and then in this bag, like the middle pocket, which is the biggest one, it has a zipper pocket, and then like a phone pocket, and other little, you know, pockets in there. And then this one has just another pocket like that. Now, so normally my thrift store will price these $25 and higher. $25 for a used guest bag is a pretty good price. Um, it's because they know what they're dealing with. But whoever priced this bag did not know what it was. So when I was looking for the price, I found the price on the inside here. It was $12. That's right, $12. So I picked up this bad boy for $12. I'm so excited. This is like my third guest hair bag. No, fourth guest hair bag that I have found now at a thrift store. So yeah, I'm so much if you're still watching this. I really enjoy doing this thrifting type thing. It just like it's just something I've done since I was a kid with my mom. My mom used to do it as well. Um, and it's just so enjoyable because you find some of the coolest stuff. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do excuse my whole sick, messy look and the way I sound. Um, I promise in my next video I won't look like dead and sound like this. Alright guys, I'm going to leave you to it now before I lose my voice and have a giant big coughing fit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!